Hey guys, welcome to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve problems in a way that's hopefully easier to understand. Today we're tackling a pure substance problem, so it's a thermodynamics problem, a very introductory level problem, just to get us going on this idea of pure substances and steam tables and all of that. So, problem statement. In a system, water is at 100 Celsius, and you can measure there is 10 grams of steam, or the total mass of water is 1 kilogram. Calculate the quality and the specific volume. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to no, the first thing is that we do know there's both steam and liquid water coexisting on the same system. So that means, right, so because because H2O liquid plus H2O steam vapor, gas, G, E, vapor, doesn't matter, we know this is a saturated mixture, right, by definition. That's the definition of a saturated mixture when we have both coexisting. Okay, so... To find out the quality, which is the first thing we're being asked, that's quite straightforward, right? Because we know the quality, quality, if you use X for it, is just the mass of vapor, or the mass of gas, divided by the mass total. And we happen to have these two things, right? Because the mass of vapor is 10 grams, and I can do that as 10 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms, to make sure that both things are in the same unit, divided by 1 kilogram, right? So that way, we get rid of the kilograms, and we're left with 0.01. Okay, or do the same thing as 1%. Okay, so the quality of this mixture that I have is 1%. What does that mean? It means that, I have my tables here, it means that in my system, if I were to draw this system, I would have something like this of water. And on 1% of the space, it's probably less than what I drew here. Let's increase this a bit. And on 1% of the space, like so, we would have vapor, right? So there's water vapor there. This is 1%. Okay? So if I want to know what is the uh, specific volume, because I know there's, it's a mixture, I know the specific volume of the mix will be how much of the vapor I have, that's the quality, times the specific volume of the vapor, plus the rest, that is 100% minus the quality, times the specific volume of the liquid, right? So I have the quality already, so what I need to solve this is to find this guy and this guy. Yeah, and we can do that with steam tables, right? Because we know this is a steam, it's a saturated mixture, and we know it's at 100 degrees Celsius. So what we do is, if we're looking using the old saturated uh, steam, water and steam tables, we would go down to, on the temperature column, we'll go down to 100, so keep going all the way here, okay, at 100, and we can grab off the properties at 100. You can see that this is... Vf, Vf is for the liquid, and it says, just mind you that this is times 10 to the minus 2, yeah? And we have here that we have, so it's going to be the 1 for liquid, which is the same thing as V for F, is 0 0.1052 times 10 to the minus 2 meters cubed per kilogram, okay? And on the other table, then we have to go to the other table, which is on page 10, if I'm not mistaken, is we need to find, a, again, 100 Celsius, and you'll see that we don't have 100 Celsius, right? Because it's going to be between those two values there. So I'm going to have to interpolate to be able to grab that value, to be able to grab the thing we're after. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to... Sorry, probably the wrong place, right between 99 and 102. There you go. So it's going to be somewhere between these two guys. So the specific volume is going to be somewhere between these two guys. So in order to interpolate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, I'll have my temperature, and I have my specific volume for gas, which I'm trying to find. And I know that at 99.6 Celsius, I have 1.694 meters per meters cube per kilogram. And at 102.3, I'll have 1.549 meters cube per kilogram. So if I'm after 100 Celsius, then I have to do the interpolation for this value. Okay, and we can do that with a calculator, we can do that with a spreadsheet, we can do that by hand, it doesn't matter. We can, there's other videos in which we do that together. If you want a video in which we go over, over how to do this on a calculator, you can ask and we can do that. But matter of fact is this is 7.625 meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, so that means that we have the two values that we were missing to be able to calculate the mix, right? So to calculate the mix, as mentioned before, what we want to do is the mix will be equal to the amount of vapor that I have times the specific amount for vapor, and whatever's left, that is 100% minus the amount of vapor, times the liquid. 
Okay, mathematically, there's another way to write this down. So, or mathematically, this is equivalent to saying the vmix equals the specific volume for liquid plus x of specific volume of vapor minus specific volume for liquid. Okay, so we can transform it. They're just saying the same thing, but with different uh, with different notation, I guess, or different places of the unknown. Okay, so you can use either. They're the same thing. I find this one to be more intuitive. I think it's it makes more sense in what we're doing. Okay, the advantage of the bottom one is that we have, um, let's say, one thing less to do, which is this part here. We don't have to do this one minus x, right? But regardless, the result is going to be exactly the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the uh, the yellow one for today. So we're looking for v mix. So v mix will be v liquid, and that is zero point. What was it? Five two. Oh, rather one hundred. My apologies. So, zero, four, four. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, so, point zero, one, zero, four, four, times 10 to the minus two, plus, what was the quality, 0 0.01? 0 0.01 quality. And then the vapor one is 1.6725, 1 1.6725, 1 minus, the same thing again, right? 0 0.014. 4 times 10 to the minus 2. And these are all in meters cubed per kilogram so that we can sum them up. Yeah, okay, and that results in about 0 0.01776 meters cubed per kilogram. So we can approximate that. Or that's actually approximated enough. The other way we can write that if you want to is 1.78, I guess, times 10 to the minus 2. So if you think that makes more sense to you. Either way, same thing. That'll be our answer right there. Okay, so this is the specific volume. One thing to note whenever you're doing this is that remember that the quality that we found, the quality, is 1%, right? So there's 1% where is our drawing here. There's 1% of vapor versus 99% of liquid. So the specific volume should be way closer to the liquid one than the vapor one, right? So, and indeed, check out, the vapor one is about 1.6, okay? And the liquid one is about 0 0.001. 044. And what we get is 0 0.0177. So we still get a little boost from the vapor on the volume, but the majority of the, the actual value is way closer to our liquid specific volume within our vapor specific volume. All right. Now, if we wanted to use the other type of table, so if we use a more modern table, this is from Sango's book, okay, Properties Table 84, then you'll see that you don't have to interpolate. Okay, so I'm looking at saturated water temperature table, we know that we are at uh, 100, so we're over here. And you'll see that this table, it has both saturated liquid and vapor. So in this case, it makes our lives a bit easier, right? We don't have to do that interpolation, at least not in this case here, because we can wrap both properties straight off the table there. So that means that we can go straight into the mix will be equal to, um, what was my, 0 0.00. 43 plus that 1%, 1% times the difference, right? 1.672 minus 0.0043. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing. The values are going to be exactly the same, if not very, very close, close enough. And obviously, we get the same answer out of it. And it's one step less. Okay, so you can choose which table you want to use, which table you're more comfortable with. All right, so this was uh, Engineering Hack. If you, this helped you out, sign up so they can keep up with the other problems we're gonna post soon.